Today we're going to be talking about OKRs and, and KPIs and how having a holistic view of KPIs and OKRs in one place puts you in a good position to focus on the right things and see how that focus is, is moving the needle. So Craig, maybe we should start uh, with the difference between OKRs and KPIs and, and make sure everyone's on the, the same page. Yeah, sure. So an OKR or the OKRs are a strategic framework in which, you know, KPIs essentially live. So an analogy I like to use is if you're in a car, your dials all in front of you are all the KPIs. You know, if you have a low fuel gauge, you want to focus on that. So OKRs are how you focus on certain metrics that you need to improve uh, to meet your strategic goals. Right. So OKRs could be taking what you're doing not so well and improving it or the execution of taking something you're already strong with and becoming an industry leader in. Exactly. Um, so yeah, it's just supposed to help you focus a little bit on what KPIs and what metrics you know you think are important to focus on for whatever time bound period. Yeah. So in GTM Hub, we primarily people are tracking their OKRs, but we also track up KPIs. Why would people still track their KPIs in, in GTM Hub? Well, you know, back to the car analogy, it's still important to see everything <laughs> so you know what you need to focus on. You know, if you only look at your fuel gauge, you know, you don't look at anything else on the dials, who knows what's going wrong. So you still need those, that visibility to all of your KPIs and measure, metrics that are, you know, important to the business. But then you can use that information to determine, you know, what you need to focus on next quarter for the next year. You know, it gives you a little bit more information to make decisions and know how your business is performing and what you need to focus on. Yeah, I mean, just having that stuff in the same place is going to be really useful for when people are planning on what should be an OKR. Um, I think there's often like discussions around the differences between OKRs and KPIs, but really the most important discussion is how they synergize with mm -hmm. strategic execution. The two can't really exist without each other in, in, in the, the frameworks that people are adopting these days. Yeah, exactly. And it gives people an opportunity or companies an opportunity to, you know, pick something to focus on. And then you can really see if, you know, focusing on that specific, you know, KPI and trying to improve it is actually impacting your business. So it's all around good to have visibility to both KPIs and have OKRs. So Craig, what are some of the, the ways that you've seen clients using KPIs in, in GTM Hub? Yeah, the most common way I see people using KPIs or companies using KPIs within GTM Hub is by connecting a data source because most companies already have their metrics somewhere. Like they have, they're measuring, you know, those numbers that mean something to them. So what I see most of the time is they just connect that data source or those data sources to GTM Hub, which allow them to just pull that data and automatically calculate the KPIs that they want to look at within GTM Hub. Another cool benefit of that is you can pull from multiple data sources. So you can have KPIs from everywhere and one single source of truth, essentially, where you can see the KPIs and know where you need to focus your efforts within the upcoming timeframes. Um, yeah, I would say Salesforce is a really common data source that's being used. Uh, Jira obviously is also massively, is massive, so it's being used everywhere. But for a KPI specifically, I'd say Salesforce is probably one of the leading data sources. I think, uh, I think the beauty of once you already have your KPIs tracked in, in GTM Hub is when you spot something that you want to, to work on, to act on, is literally just one click of a button to, to automatically track that as a, as a key result. So um, what you're doing is, is breaking down the, the resistance that people might have to, to track in the, the right things. You're making it easy for people to measure what is important. Um, so I think that's one of, the, one of the cool things that comes from that. 
Absolutely. And it gives people visibility and not just sales data, but other data that, you know, they might not be focusing on because, you know, they don't look at anything but Salesforce. It just gives that top level view that allows leaders to make those decisions on, you know, what do we need to focus on? What's what will have the biggest impact on our business over the next year? Yeah. Strategic agility. A strategic agility. Nice yeah. buzzwords. <laughs> the name of the game. <laughs> All right, thanks for joining us and we'll uh, see you next time.